Uh, this is the um, <coughs> the Telegraph Cryptic Crossword. Um, uh, it's um, um, it's a Premier League um, quality cryptic crossword uh, from one of the broadsheets. It's a right wing newspaper. You can do uh, another quality if you're of a left wing um, bent. Uh, you can get the Guardian. I uh, for some reason I don't read the paper, but for some reason I've got a, a thing for the Telegraph. Um, I seem to I seem to understand it. Understand the people who who write the uh, crosswords quite well. I, I um, Today I managed to do the entire thing uh, with one exception. My wife um, over my shoulder said that was one, that clue, that's that's something there. Um, so in full disclosure uh, it was a very hard clue as well. Um, but uh, this is the first time I've done the entire uh, crossword uh, in one day. Uh, the first time I did it, it took me a month to do, to, do the telegraph. Uh, so anyway, um, so if you haven't been brought up on um, uh, cryptic crosswords, it's the sort of thing you, you'll notice nowhere around it does it tell you how to do it. How to do it. Most people learn at their uh, mother or father's knee. Uh, and now, if you don't come from, um, if you haven't had that um, uh, sort of background, uh, I'm going to help you do it. Uh, there's one. Um, all of the clues are deceptive. Their, their surface reading is deceptive, and we need to deconstruct it. Um, uh, overcome the deception and uh, tell them what's what. So we've got um, now with uh, cryptic uh, clues there's, there's one basic rule that either at the beginning or the end most of the time there's a simple definition to the answer. Uh, so uh, so uh, without further ado I'll, and, and I'll, as I go through it I'll show you where that definition is um, and you've got to guess where it, where it is and work out. The rest of it's all wordplay, it's all riddles and um, so on and we'll go through that as well. So basically, so straight away I got, uh, I knew I was on to, I was going to have a good day um, when I picked up the paper. Mums complain about European cheese, um, three across. Uh, now what on earth is that, that all about? Well, whenever you see the word mum in a cryptic crossword, uh, substitute it for ma, M-A. And because it's mums, M-A-S. Now we're looking, because this is only part of the answer, the other side must be the definition which is cheese. So we've got a cheese that starts with Mars. So straight away I've got mas mascarpone. Uh, but let's confirm it. The rest of the clue, the wordplay, will tell us whether or not we've got it right. And there are, you can make errors. I did it uh, later on um, where I guessed it and I got it wrong. Anyway, uh, so to complain is to carp. Uh, about is on and European, uh, short for European is E. So Mars, carp, on E is mascarpone. Uh, so we'll pop that in there. I did all of this early, earlier on, so this is a new paper I bought to demonstrate to you how to do it. Um, right, uh, so now we've got some letters we can work down. Uh, I tried that and that, didn't get very far, but here, five down. Uh, skeptic acting so strangely. Now strangely here is an anagram indicator. So that means anything that says to muck things around or ruin them or make them mad or you know make them strange is saying take some take some letters, take a word or more than one word that adds up to eight that's near your anagram indicator and make those turn those letters around in an anagram that means that. That's the definition. So we've got acting so, so if you muck those letters around, put them in a circle and you'll get agnostic, uh, which is somebody who's sceptical. So that's uh, that's an example of an anagram clue. So we've got, and because we've got the A at the beginning here, it's helpful. Agnostic. Now, uh, I'm talking very fast because I want to do the whole of this in under 20 minutes. I, I tend to chat to... Um, chat too long um, so you can you can always pause and um, um, go back over what I've what I've said to give yourself uh, to help yourself so we've got 11 across consecrated area of land in outskirts of Stroud well, it begins with s you can probably guess from the word consecrated and that's um, that's a good help but I um, worked out by looking uh, this is another type of indicator you have the anagram indicator over here this is a different type of um, uh, indicator. I've forgotten what, what what they call it, but it basically something like outskirts means take something and just take the outer bits. 
if it was uh, gutted as another example, so gutted means take a word and take all the middle out of it. So outskirts of Strauss means we've got S and a D, uh, the beginning and the end words. It's the outskirts of the word. We know we've got an S over there, so it's a good guess. It's a good, it'd be sensible to put, you know, it could be D on the end there. And uh, so, so just by the S and the D, I, and we know outskirts of Stroud is part of the word play, outskirts of Stroud, therefore the other end must be the definition. So we can consecrate, consecrated or consecrated area, it's sacred. So we've got S, something, 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 D. Um, but to confirm that, we've got uh, the rest of the clue tells us an area of land, which is an acre. So we've got an acre in the outskirts of Stroud, SD, we get sacred. Uh, so, right, uh, this is an interesting one. Seven down, uh, a pound almost left and five US cents. I think it's a bad clue, um, but it gave me just enough information to work out what the answer was. But if I wasn't British from the South East, I wouldn't have, probably wouldn't have got it, unless I watched a lot of Minder. Uh, you can probably guess what it is. So the, 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 uh, we've got an N, something, 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 E, something. Um, if you watch a lot of Minder, you, you know what, they, um, what, that problem, what that is. But we've got five US cents, which I believe is a nickel. Um, almost left means that we're doing something almost, it's almost a nickel and then uh, short for uh, left is L so, uh, so almost a nickel is nick with an E and an L on the end become, um, oh actually no th that, that logic doesn't work but anyway the answer is nicker which is a pound oh actually it could be nickel no it's nickel oh blimey I got that wrong that's interesting. Uh, okay, well, I, I did it earlier on, and I put nicker in here, but it's actually nickel. So a pound is an, an, a, a colloquial southeast um, word for um, a pound is a nick is nicker. Almost a uh, pound is nick with an e, and then add left, which is an l. Uh, short for a left is an l, and that is five US cents. So actually, I thought a pound was the definition. It wasn't. Five US cents was. So it's yeah better late than never, right? Um, incidentally, I was talking this clue round, um, uh, uh, clue over with uh, with somebody I know from Bristol, and they didn't know what a knicker was. Anyway, right? Uh, but you could get it from the five US cents if you watch a lot of American TV. So six down uh, is a vigorous blow catching a protruding stomach. A protruding stomach is a paunch. And we've got a P something 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 CH. Uh, but let's confirm that. Uh, a vigorous blow is a punch. Uh, catching, i.e. taking in an A, makes paunch. So we have paunch. A protruding stomach. Now nine across is report part of speech dividing a northern church. And whenever you see church, uh, so um, substitute it for a CH, uh, which is what you see on a map, uh, CE for Church of England, or RC for Roman Catholic. Now we've got C on the end. It's at the end of the clue. Uh, so I see that it ends in a CH or ends um, with a CE. So, or it's RC and something else, but I reckon it's a CE. And if we look at report, is uh, an ounce. So we've got uh, a part of speech is a noun uh, dividing a northern AN uh, at church CE. So it's an ounce. Right, I didn't get that down. It took me quite a while to get that. Uh, so we went across here next. 12 across. Uh, domestic pet seen in seat as mice scattered. 7 and 3. I always put a little line to say it's two words. So it helps me think about it. So uh, domestic pet. So straight away we should be thinking cat there. Um, seen in seat as mice scattered. Um, so I thought that was a cat and I was trying to think of all the other um, things that could go in front of a cat like short hair and things like that, nothing, nothing fitted. Um, 
so we looked at, so I looked for an anagram. Well, we've got an anagram indicator scattered. Uh, to it's basically take something and scatter it, uh, which is so. If we take uh, seat as mice, which has that's that's a four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, which is equal to seven plus three is ten. So we take that and anagram it. We get uh, Siamese cat. Okay, 13 down, uh, we've got feature on area in Asian country. Now, the definition is either is at either end, so it's either country or feature or Asian country or feature on area. Anyway, so the in this case, it uh, turned out to be Asian country, but sometimes that can be deceptive. You can start thinking of Asian countries when it actually means any country in, in the world. But anyway, we've got feature, uh, uh, feature on area in Asian. Uh, so a feature, a facial feature is a chin. On area, A is short for area. So we've got China. So I'll put that in there. Okay, uh, let's go down. Uh, three down is uh, artist in boggy ground, marsh. I didn't get the artist bit, but I did get the boggy ground. Um, so a boggy ground, you know, you can go through marsh, mires, all these sorts of stuff. We need a six letter word. Uh, it's morass. Um, and I did, that, that was um, in the back of my mind, and I did, after I finished, I did check it. But I check, you can check by making sure you can create correct words going across, uh, which is what we'll do in, in a second. So, um, so sometimes just write it in, I write it in in the corner in little letters, just to, you know, in case I need to remove it. If I'm not 100% sure, or well, what I wasn't 100% sure, but it was once I'd looked it up afterwards. Right, member, member in a, one down, member in a register, scaremonger. So we've got that I there, um, scaremonger straight away, alarmist. Uh, I'm just get, I'm going through all the words. Uh, I'm guessing it's scaremonger is the definition. Go through all the words that could mean scaremonger. Member or member in a register could also mean the, the definition, but I started with that first. And it fitted, uh, uh, I got alarmist with the I there, and it fitted. So let's check what why that, that fits. I'm just going to pop this in with... I wouldn't normally pop it in without checking it first, but I'm just going to put it in so I can show you why the wordplay works. So a register is a list, and inside it is a member. So there's a member in a register, a list. So a member is your arm or your leg or other parts of you that stick out. So we've got an arm in a list. It's alarmist, which means scaremonger. Right, so uh, eight across is some help a soldier in West Texas town. Uh, two and four. So it's a two two words, two and four. Let's pop that in there so I remind myself. Uh, in West Texas town, so we know West Texas has got quite a Spanish, has a Spanish history. This is probably the A, there's something L there is L. Or it could have been Alamo, but anyway. But we think it's L something. Uh, I guessed it. I guessed it as L because we've got that O over there and an L there. I guess that is El Paso. Um, and I'll show you. But I can check it by checking the the um, the wordplay. So we have um, we have some help a soldier in West Texas town. So some of help is E L P or it could be H-E-L, or it could be H-E, or L-P. But we've got, if we knock the H off, is E-L-P. We can see that here, E-L-P. A soldier, A-S. And I, God knows what the O is. Uh, but it's a good, um, it works. So we'll leave it at that. Uh, two down. Endless chat is chap's charm. And I said on, on the, um, when I was doing the sun, the sun cryptic crossword, if you see the word charm, uh, think of amulet or talisman. It turn, you can see talisman fits in there, so we're going to bung that in, and I'll. T and, but we're going to check with the wordplay to make sure it works. So, uh, 
so um, so two down, endless chat, so a talk, endless, so not the end of talk, makes T-A-L, uh, is, just bung I-S in, and chap is man, so it becomes talisman, which is charm. All right, 10 across, commonplace, a penny farthing years ago, I never got the penny farthing years ago business, but commonplace is, uh, and we've got loads of letters, it's ordinary. That's called biffing, where you don't understand the, you can you, you can see the d definition, you can see, see it fits with the letters, but you don't understand the wordplay, it's called biffing. Uh, right, um, and now we've got enough, I did actually do this one last, but we've got enough now, we fall down, say, board express to save time, to board somewhere is to stay somewhere, so you've got a boarding house, you're staying in a boarding house. Uh, express is say, S-A-Y, S-A-Y, uh, to save time, i.e. taking in time, and time is T. So it's stay. Right, this one across here is massively difficult. Uh, I didn't get it. My wife looked over my shoulder and said, that's, it's actually three words. She looked over my shoulder. Uh, right, let me show you the, the uh, right, C can you get this? All the rage, source on piece of offal, not seriously. 6-2-5. Absolute nightmare. Couldn't get it. I was scratching my head, kicking myself. My wife looked over my shoulder and said, that's tongue in cheek. Looking at not just looking at the letters plus seeing the word not this phrase, not seriously. It's tongue in cheek. Now I'll explain to you why it's tongue in cheek, and it's a nightmare. And I think it's un well, it's not unfair, I'm just not clever enough. But um or, or skilled enough. Um but it is the reason why, obviously the definition is not seriously, tongue in cheek. All the rage is in. If something's, if something's all the rage, it's in. It's quite an old fashioned way of saying, saying something's all the rage. Now, a uh, piece of offal is a tongue. And sauce is cheek. Not seriously, tongue in cheek. Pain, that was a pain in the neck, that was, that one. Uh, so going down, 15 down, uh, actually no, um, that's not how I did it, uh, how did I do it, yeah, I, I was looking, I couldn't do 20 across, I couldn't do 16, but anyway, so I tried, uh, uh, 22 across, put pen to paper about hospital, making one feel acute embarrassment, to put pen to paper is to write, okay, but that's five letters and we've got a six letter We've got a six letter uh, clue so about hospital short short for um short for hospital is h so if you put h into put pen to paper which is right put an h into right makes writhe which uh makes you feel acute embarrassment so that's writhe now uh 15 down Meal without starter shortened a blow. It's quite a nice clue. Uh, so, a meal without a starter means remove the first letter. So, uh, so I went through all the meals. Breakfast, uh, taking away the taking away the beginning letter is breakfast. Lunch is unch. Um, uh, dinner is inner. Supper is upper. And that should now, if these are the word play, the other end must be the definition. A blow. So we're getting somewhere. And we've got upper, we've got a U something something E, so upper probably fits in there, which it, it did in the end, luckily. Now, without starter, um, shorten, to shorten something is to cut it, which makes uppercut, which is a blow. Uh, still not getting 20 across. Uh, okay, so let's try going along 24 across. Evil can spread round a, a Spanish city. Um, it, uh, it, what, is, what it is, is you've got an anagram indicator spread. So take evil can, which is seven letters. We're trying to look for eight. So we've got eight anagrammed round A. So if you take the anagram and put it around A, 
you'll get well in fact what I do is anagram the lot that with that put it in a circle and see what I get see if we can find a Spanish city bear in mind it might not be a Spanish city the definition might be city could be any city anywhere but in this case it is and it's Valencia so we've got 19 down uh, run naked in street um, about a kilometre. Well, if you if you've ever watched nineteen uh, seventies and eighties football, you know running naked is streaking. So that's a good guess. But how do we confirm? And we've got the T and an E there with the gaps in it. So how do we confirm it? Um, run naked is the definition. In so we've got street. Shortened version of street is ST. Put that in there. ST. About is RE. If you write an email about something, you put re, re something, don't you, in the subject line. So RE is about. So you put RE. So remember that, you'll be doing that hundreds of times. Uh, a kilometre. Uh, uh, short for kilometre is either KM or K, so it's AK. It's streak. So 18 down is a drama unfolding for fleet. Unfolding as an anagram indicator, so take some of the some of the words, a, a word or more than one word that's either before it or after it, and that adds up to six letters. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, and that's more than six. So we take these ones, try these ones out. So you take a, a drama, put them in a circle, see if you can find the anagram, mix them all up. You'll find, and you want something that means fleet, and you've got it. It's called an armada. So bung that in there. 28 across, um, it's 26 across. Question everyone about complicated bet after British game. Now before, I hadn't done this before, and I just had that and that, I saw the word game and I thought this was backgammon. Uh, I was sure it was backgammon, so which meant that was M and that was N, and I was really screwing myself up finding these ones. This is now guessing based on a little bit of a clue, is or just the definition sometimes goes wrong. I was swore that's backgammon, and it wasn't. It's basketball. Now the reason it's basketball is that a question. If we question everyone, we ask all. Uh, about complicated bet. So complicated is an anagram indicator. So anagram bet, put that inside uh, ask all. That's what the about means. After British, uh, B is short for British. So put B, if, it's, if all of that's after B, you put B in front. So let's put the B in front. Then we've got ask. Uh, and then we've got um, bet anagrams. Which turns out to be ETB, and then we've got the rest of all. Yeah, the it cut out there. Um, I hope you uh, got it all. Uh, yeah, that's signal. So uh, twenty-five across is uh, approaching. Approach a meeting place. A meeting place is a venue. A meeting place makes an avenue, which is also an approach. So we have avenue. Seventeen down is uh, seventeen down. Now this is really, really hard because uh, it's uh, it's really hard because it's a new word. I've never heard of it before. It's a really technically technical, old-fashioned word. It's actually a punishment they used to do to um, pirates and things like back in the day. So fish in a hulk at sea. At sea is an anagram indicator. Um, it's also suggestive of the clue, but in this case, it's an anagram indicator. So we take fish um, with hulk, uh, which makes eight letters, uh, and we anagram it, except we don't. We're unable to, we try and anagram it, because uh, we've got K from the hulk, uh, U from the hulk, and H from the hulk here, They're there. Uh, so we think we, we're on the right track, but fish is wrong. The definition is drag under vessel. So uh, drag is to haul something, so I was guessing that, which means that is something, uh, uh, something simple. We know this is the definition. So under vessel uh, is a keel. 
the keel is under vessel, so I guessed it was keel haul, but I've never heard of such a thing. Uh, but th that doesn't work with fish. Fish, uh, an anagram of fish and hull doesn't make keel haul. Um, I've never heard of the word. A sort of something was in the back of my mind telling me I was on the right track. It, it was keel haul. So I tried a type of fish is an eel with a and hulk. If you anagram it, you get keel haul. Now after, so I try. I pretty. I trust. It wasn't trusting. Like, I was sure I had it right. I was reading it correctly. And I was right, and I looked it up after I finished the, once I put it in, committed myself, I looked it up on the internet, and I was right. It's a punishment uh, you do on sailors, where you put them uh, put them on a rope and put them underneath the, underneath the, um, the ship. Uh, right, so that's, a, that's an example. Occasionally in the Telegraph you get a mad word that nobody's heard. All the rest of the words you should have heard of. In some form or other. Keel hall, never heard of, well, something in the back of my mind was telling me I was right. Um, but anyway, uh, 20 across is a uh, horribly wrong errant Sherpa took off. This was really, really hard as well. Um, so we've got four and six. One, two, three, four, four and six. Um, we've got, it turned out to be, uh, the definition is horribly wrong. Uh, so we've got a clue that means horribly wrong. Um, errant, errant is an anagram indicator of Sherpa, but then I was trying to anagram other things as well, and it wasn't working. Um, but we have uh, these letters here, um, and we we can. I was guessing. So we've got. Put it together. I thought it could be plan and all sorts of stuff. It actually turned out to be pear shaped. Now, how we prove that, so that's something that's gone horribly wrong, but how do we prove it? Well, uh, we've got an anagram of Sherpa here, S-H-E-R-P-A, and the to take something off is to ape something, is to imitate. You took off, you're imitating. Uh, which is aped is means imitating. So this is a aped here. So it's a really horribly hard clue, just like tongue in cheek was. Um, so so far we've had one, two, three really hard clues and a lot of really enjoyable clues. Uh, but that's the Telegraph for you. It's Premier League. It's the it's the it's really really good. I mean it's not as hard as the the the, um, the Times, but it's it's a good one, right? Uh, uh, last one, last but not least, uh, former collier framing a judge. We've got a load, a load of letters, but I got it by looking at the the clue. We've got judge or former collier or former is the uh, definition. It turned out to be judge in this case, which means this is wordplay. A collier is a minor. We've got letters to prove it. Minor. A former something. Always remember this. Have you ever seen for a former lover or a for? It's an X, right? Former anything is an X. An X. Framing an A, which is A. So an X framing an A. Collier minor makes a judge examiner. The judge is an examiner. So that's that. That's the. Um, Oh, I did that in about what, 26, 27 minutes. The, uh, that's an example. That's the first time I've completed the Telegraph in one day. Um, really, really enjoyable. Three really hard um, clues, but we managed to get there in the end uh, by a bit of guesswork. Uh, and one really stupid word I've never heard of. Um, well, I must have heard of it at some point, but it went out of my mind. So it's um, that's the, the, you do learn things with... Um, with uh, uh, crosswords, uh, you know, things like uh, I learnt that uh, a snow leopard, another word for snow leopard is an ounce, which makes an interesting cryptic clue, uh, things like that. So anyway, right, I'll, uh, thanks for watching. Um, I'll do a simple and easy one next, uh, but this is an example, uh, this is an example of a hard one, and I'm just a, an ordinary person, I wasn't brought up to do uh, cryptic crosswords, and I've learnt over the last six months how to do them. Um, so it's, uh, to do quality things like this is open to anybody, and that, uh, this is just an example. Uh, so, uh, you know, I'm trying to 
be an example in that sense. Anyway, thanks for watching. I shall see you on the next one.